Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 with the Rude Man. Today I'm on a new map, new for me anyway. Uh, I got this map on American Eagles modding. It's called uh, Missouri River Bottom. And it is a 4K map. And I'm going to have to try to do this. Well, just to look at this map might take a couple hours. So I'm going to do a quick uh, flyover. Pardon the noise, but we started at the airport, and it's a busy airport. It's got, we've got helicopters, we've got blimps, we've got uh, crop dusters, we've got fighter jets. There's just a lot of stuff going on, which brings up a point about this map. It is a 4K map. Let me go over to my helicopter. It is a 4K map, so it's big. And there is so much going on on this map. If you don't have a powerful computer... You're going to have a little bit of trouble with it. Uh, I had a little bit of lag here and there occasionally, and I've got a pretty powerful computer. So let's do a quick flyover. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as I can. Um, I downloaded this map maybe an hour ago, and I bought some equipment, sold some equipment. That's all I've done. So I really have no idea uh, how much production or anything is on this map. But we're going to find out together. So let's take a quick look. Let me jump in my helicopter here. Now I started at the airport. I'm going to do a quick run over of this map. And the main farm is right over there. So let's go and take a quick fly over of that. If I can do this without getting run over by a, a, flash, a fast a flying uh, airplane. They're everywhere. There's not just airplanes either. There's birds that fly around. That's why I say there's a horse barn there. Um, there's a lot on this map, an awful lot. And it does uh, put quite a strain on a, on a PC. Okay, so there's your main silos for your main farm right there. And you notice there's quite a few flags flying. There's a state flag, a, a POW flag, a American flag. I don't know what the yellow flag is. For sure. Oh, <laughs> don't tread on me flag. Okay, so, um, yeah, we've, we're flying a lot of flags on this farm. This is the farm proper. And I'll go into some kind of uh, detail as I play the map. You see there's birds flying in the distance. That kind of thing. There's your chickens down right directly below. Uh, so I'm going to try to do this very quickly because there's a lot to see. So this is the main farm. There's your uh, cows right here. And you got your pigs yonder and your sheep. I got sheep here. You got pigs there. You got your mixing stations there. This great big silo over here. Not that one, but this one is a silage silo. So that's kind of interesting. And over here is something really interesting. This looks like a very large dairy farm, although everything on it is static. And I haven't read the... Um, I, I should have done that. When I downloaded the map, I get anxious when I download a map. I get very anxious. I get very excited. I want to jump right in it. So I didn't read the description. But as I was flying around, I looked. Now, see all those signs? There's little signs, little white and black signs there. Every one of those signs say, do not use, do not use, do not use. I'm assuming that the mod author is working on something and it's not ready yet. So he doesn't want you using whatever this is. So uh, I would usually I would kind of heed that, uh, take that, you know, as a decent warning. So let's take a look at the main map. We're right in the center of it. I'm going to fly north, and we're just going to fly uh, the outskirts of the map and try to take a look. While I'm doing that, I want you to look at something. If you look at the map, see all the green fields? That means you own all of those. If you look, you own half the maps on the field already if you don't own all of them. And I'll show you the bank. It it looks like, uh oh, I'm crash landing. Um, yeah, if you look, there's only a few maps you don't own. And I'm not 
sure what they are, but you own everything but just a handful right from the get-go. So that's kind of interesting. Let's get back up in the air. And let's head north. There are several towns represented on this map. And again, I only started playing this. Well, oh look, there's boats. There's not only boats, there's barges. There's all kinds of stuff. There's a fishing boat over there. Um, there's a lot of heavy, heavy uh, detail in this. Look at the look at the train trestles. They look pretty, um, pretty stout. You've got all kinds of grain facilities. There's MFA. There's two trains, although there's lots of train tracks. If you notice, there's there's small country roads. There's uh, big highways. There's all kinds of stuff going on, and I haven't any idea as to uh, all the production on this. Okay, welcome to the city of Branch. So this is one of the cities. There's a motel there, gas station, uh, lots of activity going on. There's a park. So that's a pretty good-sized little city for Farm Simulator map. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on east. We're on the outside of the map here. And like I said, it is a 4K map, so it is big. There's a lot of distance between point A and point B on this map, as you would expect for a 4K map. Some oil derricks down there. Midwest Grain. There's a lot of grain companies. And interestingly enough, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, silos and stuff, there's a seagull or some kind of bird flying over there. Interestingly enough, a lot of the uh, places that, that is another little farm that you can uh, stop the trains at are, are be able to be used as storage. And he has marked them as such. The mod authors. Now that's interesting. There's a little dock at the farm. Look at those. Those are those are decent little oh and they're not little yachts there for private use. Okay, we're heading south now on the south edge of the map. There's a train there. Uh, this train that particular train starts at the winery. So there is wine production on this map. There's another uh, silo, set of silos. We're going to keep going. I got to do this quick. Like I said, I could spend two, two, maybe two and a half hours checking this map out. It's so big and there's so much on it. For those of you that uh, haven't used American Eagle modding, that's where I got the map. It may be in other places. I have no idea. Um, but if you haven't used it, you do have to sign up on that. You have to register on that site, and it doesn't cost you anything. Um, unlike a lot of different places, a download is a download. You get you don't get a bunch of uh, malware along with it, or or nude pop-ups or anything like that. Or at least I haven't in my experience so far. All right, here's another little cell point, I think. This is uh, Southeast Grain Elevator. And then we're at the end of the map. Let's start going west. Big water reservoir here. There's a huge pump there. Takes a lot of water for these cities, I would guess. Got to come from someplace. Now, this is interesting. I don't know what this is all about, but you see all the trees that are dead and they're in water? Um, I, I don't know what that is. And we're coming to another little town. Welcome to Knob Town. Look at all the railroad tracks. 
Look at the big freeway here that outskirts the towns. Okay, gas station over there. I don't know what that little thing is there. Like I said, I, I haven't looked in any great detail. I just outskirted the map myself, so I can't tell you a whole lot about it. And uh, we're going to kind of take a look at this together. There's a pig place. I don't know what that is. Is that a restaurant? Piggly Wiggly. That's a store. I've heard of Piggly Wigglies. Matter of fact, I think my brother used to work at a Piggly Wiggly when he was young. There's a, another a train depot. There, That thing over there is a major uh, grain production, farmer co-op, cell point. And then again, we have some more trees in water. And at some point, telling us to come back to town. Come back, please, don't leave. At some point in this um, water and tree situation is a forestry camp, forestry production. So I don't know what that all is all about. I mean, there's no way you could get in water and cut those trees down that I know of unless you're supposed to cut them down and push them in the water to sell them. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to find out. There's another little farm. There's farms everywhere that you can use besides the main farm. And there's your, um, there's your production for your uh, forestry right there. And then this is a brewery, Pabst Beer. So you get beer to produce. That over there is a huge Walmart. It's kind of out uh, in between two towns on its own, but look how big it is. Little gas station over here. You got a Lowe's over there, which uh, is your um, garden center, I'm assuming, because there are cell points, I think, there, or buy points or whatever. So there's your Lowe's garden center. Um, over here, you have a motel hotel that actually goes across, so there's two units. And more of a city, and actually this one's growing. This is a growing city. Looks like they're building over there. Got a little construction going on. There's a church with a cemetery. Lots of room for growth. Cemetery's not even half full. That's a comforting thought, huh? By the way, this is the day after Father's Day, so uh, Father's Day's week, Father Day weekend. I haven't. Uh, I spent a lot of time with the family over the weekend, as I I would guess that most of you did too, if you're fathers. And uh, I'd like to uh, belatedly wish everybody a fa happy Father's Day. I hope you had a good one. Spent a lot of time with your families. Gas station. Uh, I don't know what this is. What is this? Turkey root, turkey roost. What? It's a turkey roost. Whatever that is, never heard of such a thing. It's a bar and grill. Oh, okay. Oh, geez, never heard of it. There's another grain elevator. They're all over the place. Big, big grain elevators everywhere. Got a lot of open space here. Look at all the fields you own. Oh my God, how are you ever going to work them? Now, interesting though, because uh, if you're on a regular map, the fields are still there. Just because you don't own them doesn't mean anything. So... Here's a great big uh, grass area that you can use and another farm over there. This is by field 18. I'll have to remember that and uh, come back and, and use this area for my grass production. There's several areas like this, though, not just this one. So there's a little farm here that you can use for your grass production. That's cool. There's a lot of stuff in the middle of the map that I haven't even seen yet. Oh, look, this is a big stadium. So you got a you got a BGA crap house right next to the stadium. I don't know what that's all about. But you got football. And if you're really into football, you got another field over here. 
because Europeans call football soccer and there's a soccer field. So this is another little town. I'm not sure what the name of this one is. I didn't fly over the sign. But there's the airport right there, so we're getting around. Where are we here? All right, we're back in the uh, northwest. Big river going through. And it, after all, it is called Missouri River Bottom. Another farm. Like I said, there's farms everywhere uh, in addition to the main farm. So that one's even got horses on it. Oh, and they're moving. They're not just static horses. Love that. It's a rich, this is a rich uh, horse farmer. He's got his own oil. I don't know what this is. Sheep or something? I'm not sure. As I said in the other ones, he said not to use them. Yeah, there's a sheep down there. I don't know if this one says don't. This is cattle and sheep. I don't know if uh, if you're not to use those or not for sure. There's a great big dam over here. And we'll get back to that in a second here. Nice big bridge over the River Kwai. Another gas station over there. There's something kind of interesting here. I don't know what this is. It looks like some kind of either fertilizer or or fuel uh, station, but I don't know what it is. And again, I haven't uh, I haven't checked everything out. I didn't read the description. Uh, any of you guys that are playing this map might probably already know. And. Uh, this is the city of Branch. But like I said, we're going to learn together if I play the map. And I just might. Come back. All right, so we're in the north now. And I think that's pretty much uh, where we kind of started. I don't know if this is a... F no, this is just... I don't know what that is. Just big trees. There's uh, another oil oil derrick. There's a Midwest grain in the corner over there. And we're heading south again. And we're getting close to where we started. Don't hit that big bird. Yep. Okay. So there's that. Uh, we've been here. Let's get back to the airport. And we'll get on the ground. Actually, I'm going to probably fly. Whoa, what is that? I better get up in the air. I'm going to hit it. That's huge. Look at the size of that sucker. Okay, I'm going to actually fly to the farm because... Uh, there's no need for me to go back to the airport. I want to show the farm. There's that fisherman. Need a helicopter farm, uh, pad for the, har for the farm there. Oh! Don't hit the planes. There's a blimp that... There it is. There's a blimp that flies around too. Okay, I'm just going to park this guy someplace over here. All right, now let's run over and I'll show you the train systems. This one is the big one. This is the bigger of the two train systems. And it starts uh, here. It, well, it's just parked here at the dam for some reason. But I'm going to get going with this. We're going to do a very quick run around. But I want to show you uh, because this thing stops at a lot of the grain places. So this one starts in the north. That's just where it was parked when you when I opened the map. But it gives you a good uh, ground level view of what the fields look like rather than an air view. 
And like I said, I don't know what that is. I'll have to check that out. And I don't have a clue whether there's any missions on this map. Uh, I would imagine since you own most of the fields, there's not a lot of missions. But then again, one of the reasons I uh, used to do the missions was so I could buy the fields. Well, if I already own them, I don't have to worry about that. So this is Branch, I think, was the name of this little town. A lot of train tracks. And by the way, you saw that there were... Uh, ships and barges and boats and stuff uh, in the river. Uh, there's also trains that run on their own too. Now, if you look at the sign, it says that this is a cell point and that this is grain storage. So you can either um, uh, store your grain here or you can actually sell it here. And I like that he's marked them. He's got signs up. I shouldn't say he, I have no idea whether it's one guy that made the map or not, but uh, the mod authors uh, or author um, has put a lot of signs up to kind of help you out. Okay, this is storage, this is uh, cell. Might be kind of handy to use the train system to uh, to transport your grains around. You're going to spend a lot of time harvesting if you own all these fields. Now, I know a lot of the fields aren't seeded. There's some more grassland here. 11 and 56, you own those fields. These two fields right here is all grass. And there's a farm over there. Another one of those things, which I don't know what it is. I'm assuming that's a cell point, but I don't know. This is the farm that you were told not to use. Yeah, a couple days from now, I'll probably read the description and figure out what that's all about. Uh, looks like a BGA plant here. There, so there's more than one, I'm assuming, because I did see another one someplace else. Oil derricks. Some kind of store over there. Gas station, mini mart, probably. Another one of those. I got to figure out what those are because they're all over the place. Yeah, now even flying, here comes one of our trains. Even, even flying, um, we didn't see that much of the map. There's just too much to see. Look at that bird, cool. There's something on this map I'm gonna have to tell you about that scared the holy crap out of me. It's a personal thing. Uh, when we get back to the main farm, I'll, I'll show it to you. And I don't know what I can do about it because it really, 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 really creeped me out. Any of, you peop um, any of you guys that have been with me, guys and gals that have been with me for a long time, know that I get creeped out by certain things. All righty. So we saw this from the, there's a place to sell your, your eggs. Huh, I'll check that out. Check that out, there's the brewery. There's your um, your uh, forestry situation there. So this um, is kind of repetitive from the flyover, but I kind of wanted you to see where the trains go. Now, I may not do the second train just for time. Uh, the, this is the big one. This is the train that does the most uh, traveling it has the bigger bigger area that it covers the other one starts at the winery and just kind of goes around the uh, east side of the map there's your tater sales over there big tater plant there's a cannery pioneer dupont this is a cell point i think nope grain storage 
Although you might be able to sell it there too. There's your slaughterhouse for your animals right there. And even with the flyby, we kind of missed a lot of the center of the map, but that's okay. We'll get to it sooner or later. One of the main things that I like to do on these uh, these kinds of things where I'm looking at a map, I don't know if you noticed, but I don't call it a review. I'm not reviewing the map. Um, I can't, in my mind, I can't review this map until I've played it. And some people will will come on they'll do a first look and review and I can understand the first look that's kind of what I'm doing is a first look and in my mind a first look is let's take a look at what's on the map and decide one do we want to play do we even want to play it and and two do the uh, initial things work does stuff initially work on the map is it something that's interesting enough that i do want to play it it's a sell point so we're right in the middle of town here we're really close to our anna grain storage we're close to our main farm right here there's a kentucky fried chicken over there i didn't see that the first time this is your uh place where you buy your equipment and by the way there is something i need to fix there uh there's something that is invisible in a lot of the of the, uh, is that a, that's a garden center there. Um, oh, here's a sugar company. There is something in the lot where you buy your equipment that's invisible. And when I bought some of my equipment, it got stuck on it. And I had to reset it to get it off that point. Price, what? Price chopper? Price chopper. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to have to go into Giant Editor and see if I can find that and get it out of there. Uh, there's something there, and you can't see it unless you turn this thing on, your console on. And sometimes when you buy a piece of equipment, it gets stuck on it. Here comes another train. But as you can see, there's a lot of the there's a lot of storage on the map and cell points and things like that. And the train system does kind of kind of hit a lot of it which is kind of handy, which is leading me to believe that I may be able to use the train system to transport grain from point A to point B in bulk. So that's uh, got me a little excited. Another farm there for you. So yeah. Anyway, I don't um, I don't generally do farm reviews because, like I said, I I would expect to play a map for weeks before I knew enough about it to actually do any kind of a review. I guess if you have to call my videos anything, you just call it a first look. And of course, it'd be first look for me. I mean, some of you have probably already been playing this map. Cell point. We should be coming up to the dam here pretty quick, and then we'll go back to the farm. Take a quick look at that. Yeah, here's the dam here. Let me get let me get my train engine slowing down here. Stop. Okay, let's head home. Now, yeah, this is the second train and it starts at the winery and I'll show you the track that it kind of runs. Um if you see it here, it's in the uh, mid, well, northern uh, east side of the map at the winery. It goes uh, kind of inward from here, and then it goes down and back up again. It's a lot shorter than the first one. 
but you don't you don't really see anything more so I'm not gonna probably do that just for time purposes okay so here's your main farm let me see make sure everything works here what's going on come this isn't working okay how do you open a gate oh there it goes well what was that some kind of delay maybe I was too close to it um I just trying to make sure things are working oh cool cool uh, it's your cow barn evidently oh what opened behind me what was that uh is this a milk station do all those things were open or just this one probably just this one all right let me close that does that how come that didn't close I don't know if they're hooked together or not I kept this this is I think about the only piece of equipment that came with the farm that I kept um, no particular reason and let me show you what really freaked me out that cat right there that really freaked me out oh god there's another one no actually it wasn't a cat there's cats and dogs all over your farm but there's something else I was wandering around looking at the farm and it just, I about crapped my pants. It scared me so bad. There's a hayloft and now I probably won't be able to find it. What's that? Oh, I kept, uh, there was a tractor set in here and I kept that. I wonder if I can pick that up. Probably not. Probably not. There's a dog. Are you alive? I guess he is. Birds flying around. This is your uh, main storage, I believe, for your farm. And you've got your fertilizer and liquid fertilizer and all your all your uh, grains here. Um, I have not checked to see what the limits are on the storage. Let's see here. Maybe it'll tell me. Not much. 50,000 or, or 500,000. Oh, that's terrible that's terrible i might have to fix that that's nothing at all with the with the number of fields you own and stuff oh my god that's not anything at all i'm gonna have to take a look at that no so i can't find what i what what scared me darn it maybe the cat's got it what's he doing what are you doing Okay, so what was that? What is this? Oh, baby cows. You got baby cows here. More storage over here. Well, it's a hayloft. Uh, you got your uh, clamps over here, which I don't normally use. So I probably won't use them here either. Let's go take a look at the, at the, uh, lower part of the farm here. You got your mixing stations. And I like that he's got your straw, your silage, and your grass well marked. Over here, you got your choices of, uh, Wheat, barley, or corn. You've got your sunflower, soybeans, or canola. You got your, I know I said canola. <laughs> uh, potatoes and your sugar beets. Um, I don't know the capacities of those either. We'll find out when we play the map. Here's your sheep barn. And then we got your piggly piggly, piggly wigglies over here someplace. Here's your pig farm here. There's your cupola collector. Can you get in? Ooh, there's a picture of a pig, in just in case you don't know. Can't get in. What is this? What is that? What are the... But, I don't know what that... Oh, that's water system. That's a water system. Okay, maybe. I don't know. There's some kind of a, of a valve there. Uh, I got your poo-poo here. And this is your storage for that uh, stuff that you might do. Your pig food, your chaff, your total mixed rations, grass, silage, and straw. And again, I don't know what the capacities here are either. We'll have to take a look. There's your silage silo. You put chaff in here. You get silage out there. And what else? 
Does it make anything else? Any other byproducts? Okay, chaff in, silage out. That's it. That's all you need. So, that's kind of cool. I hope that blimp doesn't explode and come down on us. Alright, I'm, I'm not going to find what scared me. Oh, there it is. There it is. I was running around the field. That scared the holy hell out of me. Oh, God, I hate snakes. I don't like mice. I don't like snakes. I don't like spiders. I don't know. Like I said, uh, some of you that have been with me a while have probably heard this story at one point when I was a, a young man, very young, uh, six, seven, eight years old, I can't remember. I was in the second or third grade, third or fourth or fifth grade, something like that. I don't remember. I don't recall. And uh, my stepmother locked me in a shed uh, in the backyard. It was a shed separate from the house. It was back in the lower backyard. And it was a fruit cellar. And it was uh, sawdust floor and sawdust in the, in the for, for uh, insulation. We kept our fruits and vegetables and things like that in there. Ooh, a shit house. Um, pardon my French. I don't know what this is. That's potatoes. That's uh, grapes for the winery, I guess. And sugar beets. Okay, so this is storage for those two things. Anyway, to make a short story long, um, I forgot to take the garbage out before school one day. And she took me when I got home. Uh, I didn't get any dinner. And she padlocked me in that shed overnight. And she took the... Uh, uh, she took the light bulb out so that I, I was in complete darkness. And I swear if there was, uh, I, I, I swear there were spiders, snakes, and rats crawling all over me all, all night. I was so scared. And, um, I have not been able to, to you see a, a, a mouse or a, a snake or a spider. Spiders aren't that bad for me, but snakes and, and mice or rats just terrify me. And uh, I can tell you another story. Uh, my wife and I had just moved into uh, a farm that we were living at, farmhouse. And we'd been there a short time. And I went into one of the closets to get some of the stored clothes for the kids. And I opened up a box and there was a, a, a nest in it, a, a mouse nest. And by the time my wife got into the bedroom, I was on the kids' bed, jumping like it was a trampoline, screaming like, a Nancy boy and she just started howling and laughter at me but I was so scared and she went in there and grabbed the little baby mice out of the nest and started for me and I just about wet my pants I told her you stay away from me because I'll go nuts and uh, it just scared me to death so anyway there's a little story for you so this is the main farm it looks like it's uh, fairly uh, well put together Hey, garage doors open up. There's your workspace. A wood stove. You got a wood stove going in here? Cool. I wonder if... Uh, oh, a paint stall. I've seen another farm that had that on there. I don't know if there's... Um, if there's a... Uh, if you can uh, fix your... Your equipment up here. I don't know. It doesn't look like it, but I, I couldn't tell you. Huh. So anyway, there's the farm proper. I don't know quite what to look at from this point on. We've taken a fairly decent look at the map. So I think I'm going to stop the episode here before I get too carried away. And because actually I want to play the map a little bit. That's what I want to do. So I hope you had fun. If you did, give it a like. Share it with a friend. Subscribe if you haven't, and if I record this, I'll see you on this map in the next episode. I'm interested to find out where the grapes are and how that works. Anyway, have a good day, and happy farming.